Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a Kafka consumer to consume JSON message. Well, let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and go to Kafka package, right click on it, new and then choose Java class and let's give class name as JSON Kafka consumer and hit enter and let's annotate this class with at service annotation and let's have a logger object here private static final and then logger from cell 4j and then logger equal to logger factory and then get logger api and then pass class name that is json kafka consumer dot class now we have a logger instance let's go ahead and let's create the method over here let's say public wide and let's give method name as consume and in this case we need to pass user object as a method parameter okay perfect in order to subscribe this method to the topic we have to use annotation that is at kafka listener annotation so make sure that you choose kafka listener annotation from org.springframework.kafka.annotation package and then we need to pass the topic name so in this case we are going to use topic that is java guides underscore json and along with that we need to also pass the group id so we have a group id as my my group right perfect so what we can do is we can simply log this user object so in order to do that let's say logger dot info this should be a logger object and then call info method and then let's say string and then call format method and then pass message something like json message received and then placeholder and then pass user dot to string perfect now we have created kafka consumer to consume the json message all right so basically this you know json deserializer uh, which is provided by spring kafka it will basically convert a json into user object and that user object we have simply printed using this log statement over here right now what we can do is we can run the spring boot application and we'll verify how this kafka consumer will consume a json and it will convert into json into user object so let me run the spring boot project and there we go spring boot application is you know up and running on tomcat server and you can able to see json message received it means the kafka consumer that we have returned to consume json message is working as expected right now let's go and let's call the rest api to see how the json message is sent to the kafka topic and how it you know it should be consumed so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the json object let's say id2 and then first name is something like tom and then last name let's say cruise and hit send button and go to the console over here and let's verify the log statement so just go to the bottom just scroll down scroll down and go to the bottom and there we go json message received post name tom and last name cruise okay so let's see one more message let's say john and last name cena and hit and hit send button and let's go to terminal and there we go in a terminal also you can able to see there are three json messages in the java guides underscore json kafka topic and you can also see that message printed in the console there we go user id3 first name john last name cena all right so this is how basically uh, we use spring kafka provided json serializer and json deserializer classes to send and receive java object as a 
Jason Baitari to and from Apache Kafka. Okay, so the important configuration is like this. In application properties file, we need to provide JSON deserializer class from Spring Kafka library as a value deserializer. Okay, and JSON serializer class from Spring Kafka library to value serializer property. Well, I hope you understood how to send and receive Java object as a JSON byte array to and from Apache Kafka. Alright, I will see you in the next lecture.